And when it comes to the holidays, you don't wanna be a Grinch. However, overspending seems to be what everyone is doing. Even year over year, the sales are up 7.8%, which is incredible because prices are through the roof. So looking in 2024, we're gonna have some debt to repay and that's what we're gonna be covering in this video, guys. The seven ways to pay off your debt and pay it off fast. Starting with number one, paying more than the minimum. That is right, guys. So systematically, you are gonna do this based on rates, which again, we're gonna talk about in a little bit. If you look at some of the minimum payments on the credit card, they might be $100, $150, probably even less depending on your balance. But with the rates, looking at 20, 23, 25%, even 30, 30 plus percent on those cards, you have to eliminate those, that debt and you have to do it ASAP. That's gonna mean January, February, March, possibly even longer depending on how much you spend on the holiday season that you're gonna have to eliminate this debt. Now to do this, not only are you gonna save an exponential amount of money when you are paying off this debt, but in turn, it is going to feel great. It is gonna be amazing, guys. When you start looking at the burden of debt and how much you do pay in interest, it is incredible. Even today, sitting down with individuals that went from five payments to four payments to three payments, now they are down to one single final payment and then they're completely debt-free, which doesn't include the house, but you know how, feel, how good it feels when you're not making a ton of payments every single month. So paying more than the minimum, and again, we are gonna use a systematic approach, which is my favorite, and the way that I highly recommend, which is the debt avalanche method. Now this does differ a little bit from the snowball. The debt avalanche focuses on interest rates. This is the one that mathematically is going to make the most sense, that you get the most bang for your buck for every dollar you're putting down, guys. You are going to be eliminating the one with the absolute highest interest rate. Now to do this, get an app, get a budgeting app, get an Excel worksheet, whatever you need, guys. You need to systematically list every single debt that you have. Now, these debts are gonna be ranked from your highest interest rate on your current debt down to your lowest rate. Now, the only thing that this is going to exclude is your mortgage. The mortgage is not what we're looking to pay off here. We are looking at high interest debt. So what do we consider high interest debt? For majority of people, that is credit cards, guys. When you look at some of the more really friendly debt, I guess, that is not quite the, the high interest. When you look at auto loans, you might be at four, five, 6%. When you look at a mortgage, usually it's quite a bit lower, but when it comes to personal debt, when it comes to personal loans, um, when it comes to credit card debt, the high interest debt is the target here, guys. If you have a card that's at 25, you have another one that's at 27, we are gonna put every single penny onto that 27% interest. Every other debt you have, that includes the mortgage, the auto loan, your student loans, your credit cards, your unsecured loan, any debt you have in its entirety, we are gonna pay the minimum balance and we are gonna pay the minimum balance every single month, giving us excess money and giving us every other dollar to spend on that 27% interest, knocking that one off. Now again, one of the comments in, in that I really got was, I seem to be paying more than the minimum across eight different cards. Guys, that's great, and I love the effort in there, but if you have eight different cards, guys, you need to really focus and systematically knock out the one with the high, highest interest rate, because again, you're gonna get the most bang for your buck when it comes to building it out. Now, number three, setting up a payment plan. This is, in my opinion, guys, with the Avalanche Method, where a lot of people fail. Listing out the loans, listing the credit cards, including the debts, including the APRs, the minimum payments in a spreadsheet program or a way that you are going to systematically track this. You're gonna prioritize from the highest to the lowest interest rate, like I was talking about, looking at your budget. Now again, if you have a spending plan, if you have a budget, whatever you wanna call it, guys, you have to have a method to tracking the money that is coming in. So you have income coming in, you have expenses going out. Do you have anything left at the end of the month? This might be a hard look at where do I need to cut? What expenses do I have to cut? What needs and wants can I really balance? Even if it is the short term to eliminate debt, it is a priority, guys. To get rid of this debt is going to empower you with the financial freedom. And like you see back there, it is the debt-free journey, guys. We want to stop the debt. We want to eliminate the debt. And we do not want the accumulation of new debt because debt is expensive, guys. It is probably one of the absolute most expensive things you're ever gonna see. Even when you look at debt, it even leapfrog and exponentially um, grows faster than any investment that you have. You could have a one-off here and there, but overall, eliminating the debt is going to empower you not only to keep your paycheck, but give you the power to invest like you need to. 
Now also, and I don't advise it, but you could look at debt consolidation loans. Now the trick with this guys, and the only way that I recommend debt consolidation loans is if you do not acquire new debt. That is it guys. So let's say for instance, you do a consolidation loan, the rate is a lot better. You now have five credit cards that are completely paid off. Those five credit cards need to stay 100% completely paid off while putting every single penny and every single dollar onto that consolidation loan that you did. Now, one thing that I do not advise by any means is balance transfers, guys. Balance transfer, you're just doing debt for debt for debt for debt. And a lot of times there are fees incurred with this. I know the 0% can seem super enticing and the rewards programs can be super enticing. But the point of this is to eliminate the debt, not to just move the debt, guys, which again, through debt consolidation, if used properly, you can pay it off a lot faster at a lot lower interest rate and actually exponentially kind of roll the avalanche down the hill. Number four, putting extra money towards your debt. This is one of the big things, guys. Anywhere that you can cut what your expenses are every single month, it might even be trimming out a couple things. Um, and I know a lot of people kind of laugh when you're like, oh, cut out coffee. Depends what you love, guys. I don't want this to be so strenuous and so high strung that the, the budget is never gonna work and the debt is never gonna be paid off. There are gonna be things in life that are all, of course gonna be expenses. There are things, but how can you trim some of the expenses? Is it cutting down going out to eat? Is it cutting down on you know vacations, going out to movies? Is it cutting down on even getting the same things that you have today at a much lower rate? Could you refinance a car, refinance a mortgage, um, keeping the same term with both? Could you cut out or negotiate a couple of the bills, cutting out some of the essential bills, making sure you can trim something in your budget that again is not really gonna break the bank, but however, over the next couple of weeks or months, you can systematically pay down a lot of the bills. Now, in addition to this, guys, just like YouTube right here, if you like the content that I'm providing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, but this is starting a side hustle. Now this, of course, extra money, especially if you've kind of overspent for the holiday, is gonna make a huge difference. With a second job, even if you use your primary job and you pick up extra hours, bringing in extra income is going to buffer your budget um, and allow you to pay this back. And exponentially, this is gonna allow you to pay it back much faster. If you're looking at DoorDash, if you're looking at delivery, if you're doing online, there are a thousands of online um, side hustles that you can start, that you can create, that you can get into, that can pay you a steady stream of income as a second job. And again, even if this is temporary to pay back and get yourself out of debt, knowing that your primary income is gonna support your expenses, if you didn't have this big chunk of debt. Now again, there's a lot of different places where you can pick up side hustles, which work incredibly well. Now, number six, we look at limiting the unnecessary expending. This comes from concert tickets, video games, um, spa visits, hair, nails. It could even be exponential spending when it comes to subscription services. These are huge, guys. Impulse buying at the grocery store. They are huge. Discretionary spending has to stop while you repay and pay off this debt because, again, you're going to be attacking it very, very viciously and you want to take it out as soon as possible, getting everything back in line. Even if you look again at the budget, if you have three, five, seven streaming services, which some people do, guys, put it to one or two. Even again, if it is kind of um, short term, you have to make sure that you're paying it. And the final one, number seven, guys, don't let anything hit collections. If you miss a payment, if you're late on a payment, you are going to wreck your credit score, which is gonna remove a bunch of um, opportunities that you could have in the future. If you need to consolidate, if you need to refinance something like an auto loan or a mortgage, you wanna make sure guys, late payments will not only trigger higher interest rates, it can trigger additional fees, it can lower your credit score. The lower your credit score, it can affect an entirely different scenario, guys, even affecting things like getting a new job, most of them pull credit. If you're looking at getting insurance, most of them do pull credit. You have to make sure that those minimums with the debt, the debt avalanche are being paid at the very, very bottom bare minimum, putting all the extra money on that highest rate, getting the most bang for your buck. So I guess, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments the way that you pay off debt in the fastest way that you found, and I'll catch you in the next video.